over this town They should worry But these problems aside I think I taught you well Hey guys, welcome back Today I'm going to do Drifter's Part 2 update Say hi baby uh, Hi everybody <laughs> Who's that baby? <laughs> um, if you watch the part one update, he had his um, doctor visit and they said he's just right along the curve. As you can see, he's a lot chubbier now than what he used to be. And we started solids. Um, I'm getting ahead of myself. He is 15, or 14 pounds and 14 ounces. So he's almost 15 pounds. He is not under the curve anymore. He's right along the, the curve with all the other babies. Did you slobber? Give me a slobber. <laughs> um, Penny. He's 25 inches long. So he's getting up there to be a big boy. He just had um, a nap. And before that we had a bath. So that's why his hair is <laughs> a little bit crazy. Um, oh, Let me think here. Let's see. He blows raspberries, but he stopped doing that for a while, and instead he starts talking. He'll say, dad, 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 or pop, pop, pop. So we think he's saying dad, dad, and pop, pop. Although it's probably just baby babbling, but we like to think it's, he's saying words. Um, I think everybody did. Um, I'm still breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still breastfeeding. Um, yeah, and he started solids. Sweet potatoes and carrots are his favorite. He loves pears. He's not a fan of, like, the meats very much yet, but he's he'll eat them, but he don't like them as much. Um, okay, okay. And, uh, he's getting to be a big boy. Doing pretty good eating with them, his solids. He don't finish them all yet. Every now and then, like, oh, he loves prunes. He'll finish all of his prunes. But it takes him a little bit. So he gets tired and then sticks his thumb in his mouth. It's really cute, but. <laughs> but it gets annoying sometimes. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So he does still take his passy. And he does suck, suck his thumb. He doesn't sleep through the night anymore. Still. <laughs> um, he, he'll he wake up maybe two or three times in the night to feed. But after I feed him, because I feed him just laying down, I just pull him up. He still sleeps beside us in the pack and play. And he likes it. He likes to go to sleep in his swing, though. He's still very fond of his swing. You want to go play? <laughs> but he still likes to swing and he got he falls asleep with that and then I carry him to bed when I go to bed I don't know if that's I mean I get him ready for bed like we have a nightly routine that we do but when John goes to bed he goes to bed around 7 I put drifter down in the bassinet I'm not I don't go to bed at that time but um so I'll put drifter down in the swing and then after a while, like, I'll just stay up in the living room. That's where the swing is. And then I'll just stay in there with him. And, um. Yeah. I'll stay in there with him until I go to bed. And then I'll carry him in here. And then when I carry him in here, he usually wakes up. I feed him. And then I lay him back down. He goes straight to sleep. Um. Yeah. It's almost feeding time because after he woke up from his nap, I usually feed him. But I thought I'd hurry up and make this or film this video. Um, but he's a happy baby overall. His hair is, it looks light right now. But like if not in the sunlight, it's dark. It's just brown hair. And um, he's got the brightest of blue eyes you could ever see. <laughs> um, I always wanted my baby to have brown eyes because I have brown eyes and my dad has brown eyes. But... John has blue eyes, so baby here's got blue eyes, but I love him, and I wouldn't trade him for anything in the world. He's got the beautifulest blue eyes ever. Yeah. 
<laughs> no teeth yet. We don't have any teeth growing in there yet, do we? Although I think he is teething, like they're about to get there, but nothing yet. He is doing better at tummy time. He's still not a fan of it. I don't know if you can see. We'll try it out here. Dada. <laughs> um, we have Mortimer, which has different, different textures, different, different noises, different sounds, and different things to hold on to and chew on. Um, he likes that, but he still takes a passy. He loves his Wubbinub, and he loves his Wubbinub. But I think it goes up to like three to six months, and he's he's six months but he won't take the other passy i'll get that real quick this is the six month and up one um it's the avent avent no yeah i think so the super susie or yeah but that's what his wubbinub is and but it's for three zero to three months i think but I do love the Wubbinubs. I don't know if they go up until six months. I'm not sure. But he takes it. The only problem is. Let me get it here. He sticks his thumb up in here like this. Not this one because he doesn't like this one. He likes the other one. I guess because it's broken in. I'm not sure. But he sticks his thumb in here and bites and then pulls out all the time. Sorry if you hear that noise. In our town. There is an alarm, but it's for emergencies, but they do testing every Wednesday, so if you can hear that, sorry. But anyways, he sticks his thumb up in here, and he bites on it and pulls out, and I think that's soothing him, soothing his gums, but I'm not sure, but I always make sure that he doesn't do it for very long, or I don't leave him unattended with it because I don't want his thumb to lose circulation up in there, so don't worry, I got it under control. Um, but I think that's about it. He just rolled to his back. I don't know if you've seen that. But he doesn't roll from his back to his front yet. Yeah, we're nowhere near close to crawling or anything like that. Um, but he leans on his side, like rolls on his side. So, um, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. He's just not, he hasn't mastered it yet. He is at this point where he is very fussy if I leave the room. If I am nowhere in sight, he flips out and does not like that. <laughs> yeah, like I started a job now, but I take him with me. And he's allowed to be there, so I'm very fortunate for that. But, um, and then my mom comes down and takes him. So, it's, it's, we got a system worked out. But, he's, it's hard because I can't hold him all the time. And that's what he wants me to do. And I don't know if that's me spoiling him or if that's just a phase. But he's he's a mama's boy. We'll just say that. Um, but every time he looks at John, he smiles. Every single time. Like, John could, don't even have to be looking at him, and he'll smile at him. It's the cutest thing ever. And I haven't got a camera yet, so I'm still doing these on my phone. Um, and using the light from the window, because I'm an amateur at this. So... It's okay. I will get it under control all soon. Um, the background you see is all of John's treasures. Um, my husband is a garbage man. And no, he doesn't dig through the trash. But people throw things away that they don't want no more. And he collects them. This painting right here, I did that myself. <laughs> but everything else he has found. Um, it's pretty neat though because it's like one man's trash is another man's treasure. Which is actually kind of true. So John collects all the things he finds and we just display them in our bedroom. Um, later on, when we decide to redecorate the house, um, we've only lived here for about a year or so. Yeah, for a year, almost two years. And, hi Remy. And, um, we're still in the process of like redecorating everything. We just got everything that we got, how it is. Um, this is an update about Drifter, so I'll hush now about all that. But this is why I'm filming in here. I have good lighting. I'm on the bed. Drifter can roll around. Um, but yeah. So, I'm just trying to think of anything else that he, he has done or, you know. He loves his feet. 
plays with his feet all the time. He takes naps every day. We wake up usually around 7. And then I go to work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I work from 9 to 12. So I only work 3 hours. But we still get up at 7. I feed him. We I feed him from me. I nurse him. And then we go to solids for breakfast. Maybe some like apple juice. Or apple juice. Some applesauce. Or, um, I don't know. Just something like, something breakfasty. I think, I, I don't know. I just like giving him fruits in the morning. Just because of that, that would be a good breakfast. Like, that's what I would eat. But I don't eat fruit in the morning. I'm not talking about me. But, and then we go there, and then he sits in his vibrating chair that bounces, and it's just a little chair that vibrates. And he goes to sleep around 10. So, usually every day, he goes to sleep around 10. Or for a nap. And then he'll nap again around 3 to about, you know, 5 or 6. We get up, we eat dinner, and then we go back to bed. Or he goes back to bed around 8. Yeah, 8 or 9. So, we got a good system going on. Um, he's got this little rash on his neck. Um, the doctor isn't too worried about it, he said. He said he's not, you know, it's not, it's just where the neck folds. Um, and he slobbers and then um, it's just moist in there. And I guess it's just creating yeast. And he gave us this medicine to put on him. And so far, it's doing its job, but it's just not, I don't know, the greatest thing yet. I mean, to me, I'm just like, oh, what is that? Why isn't it going away? But it's getting, it's getting better. Hey, baby. But as you can see, he's getting so big. And he's so talkative and playful and yeah, aren't you? <laughs> and he looks just like his daddy. Just like your daddy. Looks nothing like me. But that's okay. Easy is okay. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to go nurse him and get all the dogs taken care of. Let them go outside and whatnot. <gasps> Baby, that hurts. <laughs> okay guys, um, I'll keep you updated. And... <laughs> Say bye-bye. <laughs> Say bye-bye. But for the next update, when he's seven months, I'll update you then. Alright. See you guys. Drifter.